Alright, wait for some people to get on here. Um, tonight's one of those nights, you know, you're sitting around, you keep seeing in the news all that's going on around the world, especially in, in Ohio. We've had, uh, hey, hey we got there. our friend Steve from our group joining us. How's How it going? Wayne? I'm, I'm doing good. Doing good. It's a nice so, sign you got back there. Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> so, Steve, what, what makes yeah, you want to join our group? Just, I've just always, uh, personally, always felt the pull uh, on my heart just to do something. Uh, something uh, started out kind of just a, like a human trafficking type thing, and uh, that's where I thought I was headed. But then, you know, as, as things went on and I started to just kind of search different places for me to be able to fulfill that, that pull, um, I came across our group, um, you know, the, uh, the group that showed up not be named at first. And then, uh, you know, as we, we morphed off into, into something on our own direction there, you know, just wanted to stick with a group that truly puts it, uh, puts a focus on the kids. So where it's all about the kids first above all. So, um, it just, you know, I, I've always, again, felt that pull, uh, to, uh, to give a voice to the voiceless and, uh, stand up for the underdogs and, uh, and protect protect the innocent. So that's that's kind of what brought me brought me where I am. I think the same here. You know, with all that's been going on, you see these kids being abused, and nobody's really been there for them. It's we we need somebody mm -hmm. to be there for them, and we're glad we're part of a group that helps them yep. give them give them the voice they need. Absolutely, absolutely. You know, it's and recently, uh, recently, we you know we've had all these incidents here in Ohio where we've seen children mm -hmm. being abused and killed, you know, by their parents. It's sad to see that. Mm -hmm. Indeed, indeed. Um, you know, and hearing stories like our our little warrior friend that that uh, you've you've connected with there too, and um, you know, it just breaks my heart that when it, that's it's sad to see how often it is that family are the ones that that do these things and. Um, you know, trying to stand with her with her mom there also and give her a voice. So, yep, absolutely, absolutely. And it's glad to have her mom watching us right now and let her know that her little warrior has got a big family right behind her, backing her up and supporting them all the way through this. 100%, 100%. And stand in front of me. Go ahead. I said and stand in front if we need to. Exactly. It's kind of interesting for us doing our first live on TikTok, you know, getting used to this. Mm hmm For sure. I, I, I yeah, so I'm, I'm not able to see who else is on there. So, uh. Well, so far we've got, uh, Sue and, uh, from our group. And we also got the mother of the little warrior. Nice to see you both. Wow. <laughs> Nice to have you both here. I, I can't see anything except for Dwayne. So, <laughs> yeah. So, Steve, what is your intake on what's been going on lately with the COVID, you know, and not being able to be there for the kids? And what can we do to still help these kids out, even though we can't really go into court and stuff like that? I think the biggest thing is just to make sure that, uh, you know, that we stay uh, informing the people, um, you know, because although for many people, it might be out of sight, out of mind, it's still happening and they still need us and they still need to be, uh, we need to be protected. Um, you know, I think that's just the biggest part, just making sure that the message stays out there. Um, you know, we haven't, haven't really been able to do that. Haven't been able to really gather together very much, um, you know, for the last year or so. And so it's just a matter of just keeping that, that message message going. It was kind of big in the news for a while, um, you know, last year, uh, and it's kind of fading fading out of the way. Uh, other things are taking over. So we just need to keep that in the forefront, keep that message out there, um, you know, and keep continue to stand stand for them and stand with them and uh, letting, letting, letting them know also that we exist and that we're here and that they're not alone, that although, um, you know, people aren't maybe as visible that we're still here. Um, you know, because I think right now also, speaking of the COVID thing too, you know, it's 
it's made it's a totally different situation also where kids are home from school um hopefully getting back here shortly or, or in the process but home from school um you know parents are home from school adults are home or not school but work i mean um adults are you know not just family but adults are home you know it, as a whole uh, with that being said, more people, more kids are online right now, too, and have been online uh, more often. So those predators are out there and uh, they're lurking out there on those online spots also. So you got to be very careful of that. Parents have to be very vigilant, you know, to um, stay aware of that and, uh, you know, be that nosy parent. The kids don't like it, but we got to protect them. So that's that's my thought. How about you? What are you thinking? Same thing, you know, especially with this, like this app right here, TikTok, you know, they always say to watch out for this app, but that's why I figured mm -hmm. why not have our group come on here and at least try to educate and reach these kids and the parents to let them know that some of these apps are not what they are supposed to be. And these mm -hmm. kids are, yeah, they're home quarantined, you know, with COVID or something. And they just don't realize some of these people that are on there that are sick and what they'll do and try to get people to do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, I think, yeah, I think you did a great job getting our, getting our group on, on here also, because, um, you know, there are a lot of people, a lot of kids on this app. And so it's good to be out, you know, you, you go where the, where the, where the kids are to also to help protect them and, and to watch out for them and to be there for them. So, uh, you know, hats off to you to, to, uh, you know, for doing that also and, and leading that charge. Thank you. Cause you know, there's, there's so many different kids that are on here that, you know, they don't realize some of the things they're doing or getting themselves into. And mm -hmm. it's good to reach the kids any way we can. Cause that's why you see some of these apps or some of these people put on their thing where it's 18 and over. I wanted to, I want the kids to join to be educational. I want them to know there's people out there for them to protect them, whether it be mm -hmm. for the abuse or the human trafficking. Mm -hmm. Let them know that, you know, there's a voice for them. Mm -hmm. They're not alone. Absolutely. Absolutely. I think that I agree with you there because I think, you know, it's hard sometimes you feel, you know, may feel ashamed or may feel alone or, or what have you. And, um, you know, just having somebody out there that you see, you know, come across and hear that, that we're here for them and, um, you know, letting them know that I think is a, you know, can be a huge help. I agree with you hundred percent. Definitely. I mean, you look at mm -hmm. lately, we see uh, these new apps popping up that we never hear about. You know, until somebody mm -hmm. mentions it and they're popping up daily. It's just we got to these kids have got to realize that these predators are on every app and they do anything to get you to believe them. And mm -hmm. like, you know, well, we've seen yeah. in Ohio here, we've had mm -hmm. missing kids and it's all a lot of it's right. due to these apps. Well, I'll say also um, just something to be very, very uh, aware of also are things like, um, you know, there's a lot of streaming games now available. Uh, yes. like Minecraft and uh, Among Us and, you know, multiple different ones like that. And and parents need to be aware and kids need to be aware, too, that, again, just like you're saying, on those types of streaming apps and maybe they want to play a game with you on there, they may tell you that they are, you know, a 14-year-old boy or a 14-year-old girl or whatever, but you don't really know who's on the other side of that uh, of that screen or on the other side of that that uh, that name. You know, they can they can say whoever they are, but not may not necessarily be who or what they say. And um, so, you know, so they'll they'll get in the door by playing these games, and then they just start chatting here and there, and they start asking little questions, and then you know, then they want to you know the concern of well, hey, you know, I, we should meet up, you know, or and. and you know, we're playing pr on the those needs of the kids that they're having or that they're maybe lacking, um, you know, and getting kids. I mean, I've seen kids or heard about kids that, you know, they'll hop on a bus or they'll, you know, if they're in a bigger city, maybe take an Uber or something, and, you know, and, and go to meet somebody in a park or, in, you know, someplace, come to find out it's not who they think it is, and it's too late, you know, and, and uh, as a parent. As a parent, you don't want to, you know, you don't want that to happen to your kid. And as a kid, you don't want to be in that spot off either. You know, you don't want to be in a, a place where you're in a place of danger and a place of hurt. And so you just got to be very careful. And, you know, we always tell the, you know, the kids to go to, to run to somebody for help. And sometimes these kids are mm -hmm. fearful of who they go to ask for help sometimes because they're always told not to say anything. Right. And we got to get them to understand, you know, that, 
you can go to go to the police, go to somebody you think you can really trust to get the help you need and not stand there and let it let the abuse keep going. Right. Right. Yeah. Find that trusted adult, um, you know, whoever that person may be, it is a trusted adult and, and go to them for sure. Um, you know, and don't be afraid. Don't be ashamed. Uh, don't be scared. Um, and I think it's on us myself personally. I, I, I think it's on us to, uh, you know, if somebody does come to us, a child does come to you. I think it's very important that up, you know, for, first and foremost, that we believe them, um, you know, and, and and take it from there. Take it as being truth and, and believe in them right off the bat. Um, because if they feel if they're afraid that they're, you know, oh, you're not going to believe me anyway, you're going to blame me anyway, you know, they, they might be, uh, you know, afraid to tell you. So, um, you know, believe them first and support them first, you know, before you know, interrogating, I guess. So my two cents on that. Yes, definitely, because, we, you know, we've seen ourselves, you know, some of these court cases that we've heard and we've been to where these kids were always afraid to say something because they were always threatened, told not to say, you say this, something's going to happen to you. And yeah, they were always afraid to, you know, communicate. But now that now they're coming out and everybody's like, well, well, this ain't true. This never happened. You're just saying it now. And mm -hmm. we got to right. believe the children when they're young, because little children are not going to make up lies like that or stories. Right. Absolutely. Absolutely. And you're right. And they will be, uh, you know, the predators will threaten them and, and scare them and, um, you know, in, in the silence. So you're absolutely right. So, yeah, definitely, you know, believe them and uh, listen to them and, and protect them, you know, protect them. And sometimes, you know, it's the person you least expect, you know, in the family that would be doing mm -hmm. something like that to you. Right. Right. Well, you know, we hear so... I think kind of the uh, misconception there is that, you know, these people out there are just strangers lurking in the dark also all the time. And it's not all the time that way. I mean, it, yes, as we talked about, that exists and that will groom them for, for different things. But unfortunately, it often is a, an adult that is closer, closer to, to the child, whether it be family, whether it be a family friend, um, a, a teacher, you know, as happened there, um, you know, a religious leader. Um, policemen. I mean, and unfortunately, it does, you know, span into those areas also. So you got to be careful exactly. with that. Um, but uh, yeah, you know, just be aware and don't be. And the other thing, too, I think that people forget and they think, say, you know, you know what, you know what, we live in a good neighborhood. It doesn't happen here. Um, you know, it's it doesn't happen in our neighborhood. It's only in the in the poor areas of town or in the drug infested areas of town. And it's not. It's happening everywhere. It's happening in middle America. It's happening in your neighborhood probably right now um, in some fashion or form. You know, that danger is out there, and it crosses all all zip codes, all area codes, all economic levels. You know, it crosses all barriers. It does not know labels. And, um, you know, don't be don't be um, mistaken in thinking it's not happening in your circle or, or in your area, too. So. And we noticed that when we did our rally, you know, people kept thinking, oh, it's, you know, we're, it was a joke, you know, we don't need to be here. It's not happening here. It does. It happens oh, yeah. even in big towns, mm -hmm. small towns. It don't matter where. It don't discriminate mm -hmm. against the town or the place you live in. Mm -hmm. Right. Yep. We did hear that. I know people were saying that in one of the, at least one of the stops. So, um, yeah, it, it definitely, uh, don't don't be mistaken and think it doesn't happen around you. So, what would you think would be one of the things that we can get people, more people involved in? See something, say something. Um, I think really the big thing for that, uh, the, just keep your eyes open, um, be aware. Um, you know, if you're at a at a big store or a small store, really anywhere, and you know you're seeing kids in that too, keep an eye out for them. Keep an eye out for anything that looks suspicious. Um, you know, I think we need the the kids as well need to just really focus on when we're out in public. We need to to do our best to to uh, not be have our faces buried in our phones, uh, not paying attention to what's going on around us. Um, not only, for, again, for our safety, but I think also for the safety of others, for, for safety of each other. Um, you know, just being aware, paying attention to our surroundings and looking out for each other. 
you know, you hear the phrase, it takes a village. Well, you know, it really does. We, we need to take care of each other um, and not, you know, not be, not be so selfish in that, but just really take care of each other. We're a community. You know, we're a world community. We need to take care of each other. Yes, definitely. We also need you know, these people, to, the kids, to realize that, you know, human trafficking is a form of abuse because there's the sexual abuse of these children. And a lot of people think, well, it's just, you know, regular abuse of the, of the families. But, you know, human trafficking has its own abuse too, that, we're, we, that we've been sharing information on to help people mm -hmm. a little bit more aware of things around them. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, and I, I'd say, hey, you know, check out Teresa Merriweather. You know, she does some amazing stuff and really good good things, and she does some training classes that I would highly recommend for, for anybody to take. Uh, it, it will teach you some different things, things to look out for, um, just a multitude of information. And uh, she she's a gold mine. And so, I, I again, I highly recommend for anybody, you know, to, shoot, just Google, Google her name, Teresa Merriweather. Uh, T E R Teresa Merriweather, and um, <laughs> you'll find out. You'll see. She's an amazing woman. She's amazing. Yes, and if, no matter where you live at, if you any place, look up some of these people that are doing human trafficking, and some mm -hmm. of these people are well known and work with the, the government and stuff like. That. Take their classes because I guarantee you it's worth it. I took Teresa Merriweather's class, and I learned a lot on human trafficking that I didn't even know, and mm -hmm. it was. An eye opener. Right. A lot of things that I think the, and I don't want to say the everyday person really, but the general public, I guess, um, doesn't think about. You're absolutely right. I mean, she, my has been open to so many different things. Um, it just an, here's just an example of something I came across. So um, on social media, you know, somebody had posted a picture about a doll, and their their, uh, their young child had been tearing. The doll had had genitals, okay, and the young child mm -hmm. was tearing them off. And you know, people were making fun of it and joking about it. But you know, you need you need to just be have an open mind in the fact that you know why are they doing that? Well, there could be some abuse there, and there's some anger associated with that. Uh, and a small child, you know, if they're if they're young enough, they may not you know speak well, or they may not be speaking yet. Watch their actions. Their actions are going to tell you a lot of things too. You know, whether they um, you know, kind of cower away from somebody or, you know, just watch your body language. Your body language will tell you so much, um, you know, and, and just, it, I know a lot of times too, you know, we tend to, we're at a family function, which not so much right now with COVID and all that, but they're like, oh, come on, give grandpa a hug, you know, go over and go over here and give grandpa a hug. Why don't you want to hug? Go ahead and just exactly. do it. Just give a hug and forcing them and pushing them to do that. We, and, you know, it's nothing, I don't think we do anything, you know, it's nothing intentional, but if you think about it, maybe don't force your kid to, to have to, sh you know, do something like that if they don't want to. I mean, it's just, you know, just a little thing, but it, you just don't want to force your kid to feel they have to give somebody affection just because, you know, family or a close family friend or something like that. And a lot of times you have to watch out because there's a sign right there. If a child doesn't want to give a hug for some reason, mm -hmm. they're shying away, they want to push away, they want to go run, then you need to look into that because that could be a a form there could be something wrong with abuse you know that, you, that right. you don't know about yep absolutely absolutely so it's just those little things i think you know just that you may not really pay attention to or realize but um if you just think about it with an open mind uh you, you know the, those signs are there a lot of times when i know we think how could i you know hindsight's twenty twenty, and you think back after maybe something has happened and something comes out and then you're looking back, you're thinking, oh, my God, I should have, I, how did I not notice, you know, this and this and this happened? So it's just a matter of, again, just being open, you know, having an open mind and just being aware. And um, you know, sometimes you have to be overly protective, and that's okay. There's, it's okay to be overly protective. Um, you know, I'd rather fail, fail on that side than uh, on not being protective enough and having something happen. Exactly. You know, and like we see at some of the cases we've dealt with, you know, where we've had to surround the child just to go to court because they're afraid of their abuser so bad. It's, you know, yeah. and you see them crying in some way, it just tears your heart out. Mm -hmm. And you well, know that they're, they're hurting inside and there's just so much going on that we don't even know that they, they don't want to let right. out yet. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And, then, you know, and that goes back to what you were saying too, about them threatening, you know, the abuser and the predator threatening them. Um, 
a lot of times the abuser's family will join in behind the abuser. Believe it or not, it happens. And then mm-hmm. they are also being very threatening and, and aggressive towards, uh, you know, towards the one that's been abused and um, trying to make them feel uncomfortable and so forth. And, you know, and around here, I, you know, we live, I, I live in a small town area. And when, you know, when situations have happened out here, small towns, a lot of, you know, people talk. And so, you know, that, that, <laughs> the support circle in the in the wrong direction, you know, can get out there also, and they all start kind of ganging up or whatever on the child too. So they can be really be scared. So, um, yeah, there's there's a lot going on in their mind and their hearts that, you know, we we just may not even fathom. Right? Many may not even have any idea. I, I agree with you. Oh, yeah. yeah, definitely. You know, and some kids yeah. will open up to you. It's just you know you gotta some some of the parents and. Other adults, they got to learn how to talk to these kids to get them to open up, and and they will mm-hmm. open up and tell you things that you need to know. Teachers the same way, but when you see so much yeah. going on and they're they're afraid to talk to certain people because well they he, see on the news that you're not supposed to talk to this person because this person can you know these people do this and do that. Not all of them are like that. They need to understand that there are some good ones out there that you can really reach out to. Right. There's groups mm-hmm. out there like us and biker groups that are there for the kids and they will do anything to protect you. Mm-hmm. Those big, bad, scary bikers, maybe not. They, they, they have big hearts. <laughs> yeah, definitely. We know that. We, we are. You guys have all mostly most of our group. You know, are bikers, and you guys have all been part of a group that was, you know, like that. So people thought we were scary, but no, we're not. Mm-hmm. No, I'm you know, we got a hard to go. You know, we're always yeah. going to help people out, no matter what. You know, kids out. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Absolutely. We do what we can, you know, and whatever that may be. You know, with, and we see too our, you know, these kids, some of the kids we've, we've dealt with, you know, they were happy to have groups like us there for them. And it makes them want to have a voice, you know, it makes them open up a little bit more and tell things, mm-hmm. you know, and it's good. It makes me feel good to see the kids smile, you know, knowing they got a support, like, support group like ours. Right. You know, and, and I know we have a lot of people with us and that work with us, too, that, you know, they, they are uh, survivors themselves. And, you know, so they understand a little bit more, too. So um, they can they can relate on that level as well. You know, so, um, yeah, they, they just know that we're out there. We're here. Um, we'll, you know, we're going to do what we can. And, yeah, there, I mean, we're, we're one group. There are other groups as well. But, um <laughs> It can be scary when and when you don't think you have some place to go, um, it, you know, without knowing. You do. I imagine you do. You would feel very much alone. So, you're not alone. Not alone at all. Definitely. And people need to learn that you know. There's look on Facebook. Look on your different apps, Twitter, like us on TikTok now, and uh, you got Instagram. So. It, Look for these groups on there. Look, look up child abuse, you know, groups that help, you know, and you'll find them in your area, and they're willing to help you out no matter what. Right. Because we're Absolutely. on TikTok, we're on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, and YouTube. Mm-hmm. Well, Steve, and you're you you're better at talking about our group a little bit more. Give a little <laughs> bit more insight on our group and what we do. Right. and so a little bit about our group. So we are Voices for Victims, as you see behind Dwayne there on the sign in reverse. Uh, we are a 100% volunteer group of advocates. Uh, we, we span uh, across most of Northern Ohio. Uh, and we, uh, we, we are advocates, so we stand with the child and the child's family to give them the strength and the courage uh, to be able to stand up and face their abusers in court and get their day in court and get justice. Um, you know, we, we do everything we can. We do things like, um, you know, we just did, uh, our group just did Easter baskets where you, you guys all went out and did some nice shopping for the kids. Got a, I don't know how many, do you know how many baskets there were? We did 63 Easter baskets. Okay. There you go. 63 Easter baskets, uh, just to give them a little something to, to feel good and be happy about. Um, you know, we, we did a similar thing. Our group did a similar thing at Christmas where we, uh, got some toys and got donations of toys for the kids and uh, delivered those to the kids too. So to make sure they had something special for the holiday. 
Um, you know, we just do a lot of things. We do a lot of things like that. So um, we do different, uh, you had mentioned our, our, our rallies that we did. We did a few last year around the area and um, yes. where, we, where we stood out and just to, again, to get that, that message out there and um, be visible, you know, be visible and in, in the communities so that people could see us and know we're there. Um, believe it or not, not everybody's on social media. So it's good to get out there and get it, put a face with a name too. But um, yeah, it's a hundred percent volunteer group of advocates. Um, we don't do this for any other reason than for the kids. We all, you know, our, our, all of us agree that our focus is it's all about the kids. Um, and this, that's our number one reason for everything. As a matter of fact, I think it's what doesn't it say down the back of the sign that I think it says yep. on the bottom. I said it's all, it's all about the kids. kids. Yep. Yep. So, uh, yeah, we're, we're all on one mission and that's our mission right there. Like we, our group has been involved with, you know, the child abuse side. We've gotten on the human trafficking side, helping out a little bit mm -hmm. with that, you know, sharing information about that. We, our group right now is more educational right now with COVID going on. It's kind of hard for us to get out and about and do anything. Mm -hmm. So we've been doing a lot of educational, a lot of sharing of the things going on in, around the world, you know, with the children being taken and abused. It's all we can do right about now. Yeah. So summer hits and hopefully get back out and get out in the community again. Yep. Well, that is one beautiful thing about the social media world is that at least we can still reach out there digitally to everybody and, and get the word out there and get the voice out there. So, um, I, you know, with that, I would say like our page, uh, follow our, our page and our group, uh, share the videos, follow us on the, the various different multimedia, uh, social media that Duane has mentioned there, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok. Um, follow us and uh, and share the stories. Share us with your family. Share us with your friends. If you hear somebody that needs some help or would like some help or, or uh, a voice, let us let them know we're here. Lead them to us, to, to us also. Um, so that's the best way that we can really help get the word out there is by, well, word of mouth. So by all of you being able to help us get our word out there so we can help more kids and um, do the best we can. So that's, I ramble a lot too, so sorry about that, Dwayne. It's all right. Because yeah, if you guys have <laughs> anybody that is in a situation where they're being abused and you, you have nobody to talk to, you want someone to talk to, message us on TikTok, message us on Facebook. We'll be willing to listen and, you know, be a – be the voice for you to, you know, give you some directions where to go to, who to talk to, you know, and try to get you in the right direction to the people that you can trust. Mm -hmm. You know, you follow us on TikTok, we'll follow you right back. You know, we're going to keep tabs mm -hmm. on you and see what you do and like your videos, just like ours and show us, tell us what you like about our videos. If there's something you don't like, you know, let us know. We'll try to make it a little bit better. And if you have any questions about our group, feel free to ask our group. We'll, you know, we'll be willing to answer any questions you have. Mm hmm Absolutely. So what about you? You know, I don't think we, we, you asked me how I, what got me into the group. What about you, Dwayne? Well, I've always wanted to help kids out. And our community, my community of Sandusky, you know, I've always wanted to be out there with the kids and try to give them a better life, you know, because mm -hmm. these kids in town, they just, they think that all the streets are is, run around and get in trouble and this and that. I want to let them know there's more to it. Let them know that there's people yeah. out there willing to help them and steer them in the right direction. And then when I joined our group, knowing that we were there for the kids and we were able to put a smile on the kid's face, knowing that they had somebody there to support them. And it just, it fills your heart up with, with joy, you know? And yeah, I know we mm -hmm. see the sad side of things, you know, where the, we see the abuse, the killings of the kids and stuff like that. It tears our heart apart, but knowing that we can reach some more kids one way or another on the social media platforms, going to these rallies and events, you know, it, it makes it better because we reach one person, help one child mm -hmm. out. That's a good thing. There you go. I had to say to you, are the hardest working person I've ever met in my entire life. You are vigilant with, with your, your passion and it's, it's inspiring in itself. So you do an amazing job So keep it up. Thanks. I, you know, it's just, you know, everybody says, well, we need more people like me. Well, you know, there are people out there. You just, sometimes people just don't see it. They're too busy with, on, like you said earlier, on their phones, not paying attention to things. 
mm-hmm. or they're you know too busy talking and not paying attention to what's really around them to see the good that people mm-hmm. are doing. Yeah, very true. You very know, like our true. group, you know, our group, you know, we don't we we get involved with other groups to help them out. Like we help with, uh, we've gone to Caleb's anti-bullying, you know, and did a photo shoot with them. You know, we're willing to get out with the other groups and support them because they support us. You know, and let these people know that there's that we're there for them no matter what. All right. And that's why I like doing what I'm doing because if I can get out there and reach more people with the social media apps and get more people to follow us and to know that there's help out there or what to look for, you know, the signs to look for then that makes me feel mm-hmm. good. Absolutely. It's good. It's nice working with the other groups too, in my opinion also. You know, I mean, it's not a competition. You know, we're not out here as a competition. We're all on the same mission. And, um, you know, we complement each other, I think, more than anything. So it's not, It's not. we're not trying to necessarily uh, win the entire, you know, I don't know. We don't, we don't want, it's not a competition. It's bottom line. It's not a competition. We're all on the same focus, same goal. So it's a nice thing, uh, you know, working together. It's nice. It's great. Yeah. Especially when you have two groups that are going for child abuse, you know, it, mm-hmm. and we're, we're on the same mission. We both want to end child abuse or help someone out, you know, why not work mm-hmm. together? You know, if you can, if there's information you have that you can share with them or if they're in an area where you can give them a name of somebody that needs help, then why not? Right, right. Combine resources. Work smarter, not harder. Exactly. <laughs> right on. So, what are some of the things that you wish that we could, you know, as a community come together more in, in educational wise, that maybe it's not out there on social media that parents can maybe get involved in learning ways they can find out, you know, if they don't have the social media. Are you asking me? Yeah. Or doesn't you mean me? Oh God. Yeah. All right. Uh what what can they do with it for people that don't have social media? Was that yeah, what the, for the, the ones question? that don't have the parent, you know, the ones we know that like say the, the people that don't yeah. have social media, what can what, what can followers tell, you know, reach out, do the help these people that don't have the social media platforms like, you know, the follow, yeah. you know, uh, what can they do to teach these people, help them out, you know, even if we can't reach them, you know, they can. I think uh, just talking to them, sharing the information by word of mouth on that also. Um, if they or if they're not sure or don't know, and the per, you know the person, they can kind of be that go between to relay you know relay us information or even pass our information, you know, vice versa, pass it on to them, and they can pass their information on to us if they're comfortable with it. Um, you know, the first and foremost thing I think with that too is making sure that the person is comfortable and agrees with them having us reach out to them um, or giving up their information to us. I think that's important too. You just got to be careful with that because um, we, we don't want to be reaching out to somebody and then have them be, well, who told you to call, call me or, you know, something like that. So that, exactly. I think that's important. But, um, but I think what they could do again is just kind of share the information that they learned from us. Um, you know, if there are, you know, they can even show, I mean, shoot, use your device and show them on the, on the device, um, some of the information, you know, sometimes it's a lot to try to remember, you know, I, I mean, I know how I have to reference back the things too. So, um, it's just in that sense, I'd say, you know, share, they can take the information and share it with, with their friends and family and, um, you know, just open their eyes to just it's discussions. It's just about having discussions. Talk about it. I know. I know. Sometimes, you know, discussions on any form of abuse and things like that aren't fun to have, but they're important to have. Um, you know, whether it be parents with kids or parents with their other adult friends, just having that conversation and talk with them about it. Say, hey, have you guys ever heard about? I was, you know, I just saw on 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 social media, you know, this. And just kind of sharing that information. But again, uh, you know, I think if, you know, if they come across somebody that hey, says, you know, hey, you know what, um, I've been abused or I have a friend here that I think, of, you know, my friend's daughter has come to me um, and she has some concerns. I mean, I would say personally, and, and correct me if I'm wrong with this, Duane, this is just my own personal opinion, I guess. So um, 
if a child comes to you also, I think it's important, you know, if it's not your child to go to the parents also and have a conversation with them, unless if it's if maybe it's a parent that is doing abuse. So going, but going to another um, family member, I think would be a good idea too, just because you don't want to, I don't know. I think it can cause some problems and could call it could potentially i feel you know may even uh, be a dangerous situation for the child so it's a touchy situation with that but i think um you don't want to just uh take the parent out of the picture i think there could be some problems with that also i don't know what do you, what do you think on that Dwayne? yeah that's that's true i mean you if you, if they say it's like if they tell you like it's the mom the dad or something like then go to try to find another family member that you know you think yeah. you could trust with that information to, let them, hey, can you check out this? You know, this is supposedly going on. I was told this. You know, and then they can they can relay the message back. And if the police need to get involved, children's services needs to get involved, then you go that yeah. that route. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. You said it better. <laughs> mm -hmm. Thank you. <laughs> and if I was anybody, I'd follow Steve on his page because Steve's <laughs> always got some positive videos that he does to uplift you uh, during the day, during the night. So Steve, give them your uh, your page to look at. Tell them what you what to look for. Uh, what you know, your name is on it. To look know. for to look yeah. you up. Uh, if you want to look at my page? It is Salander, which is my last name. S A L A N D E R. Think of of Salamander, Salander, the number four, Ohio. Um, that's my uh, username or whatever you want to call it. Um, I just, I try to uh, I'll talk a little bit about, you know, our group in there at times or duet with people on that. My, my big thing that I try to do, I do uh, some little fatherly advice videos, um, just trying to give advice towards people or to, to people, um, just a positive and motivation and um, positivity. <laughs> try to be that, that little bit there. Cause, you know, sometimes I, I just, I, I'm a dad. And, uh, you know, and I have a teenage daughter. And uh, so I, I always give her advice. And so this is my other way of just kind of trying to pass on some of that advice to, to the, to the masses, if you will. And um, yeah, that's what I like to do. So Salander, S-A-L-A-N-D-E-R, for the number four, Ohio, O-H-I-O. And that's all we got to do. You know, we got to be positive and share the positive stuff. I know there's a lot of neg negative stuff going on, mm -hmm. and we have to share that negative stuff, you know, or the bad things, but we also got to see the positive things that are going on, too. Mm -hmm. yeah, you I do agree. a good job sure. of that. Oh, well, thank you. I appreciate that very much. But uh, yeah, I think um, we got to have a we got to have a balance in there. Otherwise, it can be really, really hard. Um, you got to have, you know, have take the good to take the bad, take the both. And there you have the facts of life, the facts of yeah. life. I don't know if you know that show. I'm showing my age now, but um, yeah, just, just, yep. <laughs> just a combination. You got to have a combination of the good and bad to, because it, you got to lift yourself every, up every once in a while. It's kind of like I said, that, uh, that cup analogy, you got to fill your cup because if you don't, if you don't fill your cup, you won't have anything or to help anybody else. So um, have that mix. Yeah, like Lisa says in our group, you know, it, it tears your heart out. You gotta, you gotta step away for a little bit and look at something positive because it, it will eat at you. You know, when you all see right. all this negative, all the bad things going on and the abuse, you gotta step away and take a little breather and then go back and, and go back to what you were doing. Recharge those batteries. Yeah, because I've caught myself a few times where I've gotten too involved in seeing things and I want to you know, reach out and say something, but I got to take a step back because, you know, it's like it tears you apart. Mm -hmm. You got to yep. regroup. Absolutely. Yep. Absolutely. It, you, it's, it's very easy to get pulled down that rabbit hole. Definitely. You know, especially, especially when you have, when you have a big heart, <laughs> you get pulled into it and you just want to, all right, that's it. I'm rolling up my sleeves and I'm going in there, but you know, you got to take a deep breath sometimes. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And a lot so of people know we will. Huh? What go was ahead. that? No, go I ahead. was just going to say, what's your, you, you got any uh, videos coming up that you're thinking about doing or any, any duets you're, you got uh, on the burner there? Yeah, I'm trying to get some more uh, creative 
thinking going on and some more I've you know like I've been posting pictures of uh the pictures from online that showed talk about child abuse mm -hmm. and different things do a few more of them and maybe get some more uh do what's going, you know, with different people that are talking about child abuse and let's get the word yeah. out there and spread it out as quick as far as we can and hopefully get more, reach more people on TikTok. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. There's some good people on here, you know, I come across it a lot and there, you know, some very good people, very good hearts. Um, you know, it, it, you, you keep hearing uh, people say about the TikTok family, but uh, you know, it's, it's a true story. You know, you get to know people on here, you get to have conversations and that. And uh, we try to, like we said before about different groups, try to work together with different groups on here also. And, uh, you know, duet them like you're talking about and share that information and work together. Yeah. All about the kids. Yeah, so, you know, we hear all oh, TikTok's bad for the kids and this and that, but really it's not that bad to where if you know what you're doing, you know who, who, who you can trust and, yeah, there are some bad people on here. We've seen that with comments and yeah. different things, you know, especially with like April 24th. Yeah. You know, we've seen, the, we've seen what people can do. You know, we just got to fight through that and try to keep showing the, the, that we're there and fight for the kids. Yep. I just happened to be wearing orange today. <laughs> yeah. Unintentional, but uh, yeah. Yep. You're right. You know, I, I, I think sometimes too we get roped into this idea of a day, you know, uh, where we're really vigilant, like we were on Saturday, April twenty mm fourth, -hmm. and uh, you know we we got to remember that you know what, at the end of the day, every day is April twenty fourth. You know, we need to, um, you know, we we might have been uh, you might have been uh, more aware that day because of all the uh, all the attention brought to that day, but we need that same attention every single day. And just being yes. aware, looking out for each other, and uh, and you know protecting each other. So, but make every day that day, just for the sake of protection. Like they say, April is uh, Child Prevention Month. You know, awareness. But you know, like the shirt I have, it says every day, every month is really should be that day, not just one right. day or one month. Mm -hmm. Right. Peanut butter cup wants to say hi. We catch the one and Let people know we will be doing a live coming up here July fourth. We will be we have a fourth of July event we do in town that we will have a table and try to bring awareness to our group and to human trafficking. And we'll show you a little around what's going on in our town, what it's what it's about, the community that comes together to support everybody. Hopefully we'll mm -hmm. have some more events coming up, but we just, right now, the 4th of July is the only event that seems to be popping up right now for us. Yeah. Well, we'll see. Hopefully as time goes on here, as the summer moves forward, you know, I'm starting to hear a little bit more about some different festivals around my area over here in the Toledo area um, that are going to be opening up. So hopefully we'll be able to get some more and get some more locations out there and get some more tables like we did you know a little bit last year yes yeah you know just everybody just be 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 on the lookout everywhere you're at your surroundings just keep an eye on the you, the kids any way you can i mean when you're in a store even when they're walking home from school mm -hmm. or even during yep. the summertime the kids are still out walking around you know it's and everybody says it's always a white van well, white vans are not always the <laughs> choice of some of these people. They use all kinds of vehicles. So just be look out for the children. Let them mm -hmm. know that you're 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 there to watch them, protecting them. Yep. I think yeah, I agree with you. When you're out and about, or if you live in a neighborhood, uh, I live in a neighborhood over here outside of Toledo, and and uh, there's a lot of kids in my neighborhood that are out and about riding bikes and and so forth. You know, so if you're out walking the neighborhood or if you're even sitting out in the yard or working out in the yard and there's kids around, just keep an eye out for them. You know, just keep an eye, pay attention to what's going on in your neighborhood. Um, you know, because you just, I mean, you just never know. You know, there's, there's, uh, you just, well, even like around here, I mean, you, somebody may be driving through the neighborhood that isn't from your neighborhood. It could be, you know, somebody that is up to no good. 
And um, yep. so you just never know. You got to just keep an eye out for them when they're out there. And like I say, just take care of each other. Especially when you're at, you're at the parks, because like our parks, yeah. lately we've had suspicious vehicles and people call the police on them. By the time they get there, they're gone. So, you know, you see some suspicious in the area, don't report it. Don't hesitate. You know, you might have somebody that's lost in their neighborhood. We understand that. But if you see somebody just sitting there and they're looking suspicious, look, watching a child or taking pictures, don't be afraid to say something. See something, mm -hmm. say something. Well, even with that, I think, you know, go ahead. and You got the, the cell phone in your hand. You know, take a picture, take a video just of what's going on, um, you know, so that that way that can kind of help a little bit too. Um, <clears throat> you know, the, just – I, I feel, again, I'd rather kind of err on the side of caution um, and, uh, you know, and, and getting at least a picture. So if when the, if the police do show up there a little bit later or whatever, you can at least kind of show them what you're talking about and give them a, be you know, a good vehicle description. Um, you know, you may not know what kind of car it is yourself just by taking a peek at it. But if you take a picture that, you know, the officer then can know what kind of vehicle, what color vehicle, what it looks like or what it really looks like, too. So. And kind of help them yeah, especially too. If, especially if somebody else has already reported that same type of vehicle, you know, at least they got something to go on. They know where areas are right. they're targeting. Mm -hmm. Yep, exactly. Good call. And don't hesitate to, uh, you know, when you're taking pictures, don't be afraid to take the picture because, I mean, you can take a quick picture real quick, especially in a store. If you suspect the child's being taken or something's not right, take a quick picture. And go to the store clerk and let them know what's going on, because they'll be there. They'll get they'll get the help right there right away, especially if there's door security. Yes, that's true. You know, you're right because stores may have security. They've got uh, plain clothes security typically around too, so there may be some security there that can help out. That you, you may not even realize they're they're right there. So, uh, yeah, definitely let them know, and then they can let let their security know. Now it's it's been fun tonight. You know, getting the yeah do this live you know for the first time get seeing how tiktok lives work it's it's interesting it's a, it's a pretty cool thing honestly i i didn't even know we could do it like <laughs> do it like this together so this is way cool i mean here we are you know a couple hours away from each other but you're right next to me look there you are yeah because <laughs> i know when i did my first live trying to do uh the polar bear run here in sandusky yeah. it was like it was choppy. It was, it was at you know messing up, but doing this live right here, it seems like it's better. From what I can tell, I see, yeah, we'll have to go back. It's clear. But we'll yeah, let's we'll go back and see how it looks uh, after the fact. But yeah, this from what I can tell, it seems really good. And then I'm showing good connection up there, so ho hopefully we should yeah, be in good too. shape. Are right, you yeah, good? Good. Yeah. So people, just you know, follow us on TikTok. You know, share share this video share the videos with people let them know that there's a group out there to help them out i know there's a lot out here there's the guardians of the children which i've been following those guys do a great job if you're in that area follow them and go see some of their events if you're in ohio you and you've come to cedar point you know we're right here we're mm -hmm. in sandusky ohio come see us you know at any of our events we'll be happy to talk to you you know introduce the group yeah. that's there and We'll give you any information you want. You want. You'll you'll see these faces. These faces there. <laughs> yep. So and just, you'll you know, see that you'll you, see that symbol. When you see that symbol right there, that. voices for victims, the hands, yep. with a little child's hand there. That's us. If anybody's yep. trying to imitate us, you'll know. I mean, there's only there's only one voices for victim group like that with that symbol. You want to do like they always say on the on the uh, little video though too. So you know, follow, like, comment, share a link. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. Oh, and, and like you said, all... if you follow us, if you follow us, we'll follow you back. So yeah, because so we'll the more, we, the more people we'll follow up. each other and help each other out, the better off we're all going to be on TikTok. We're going to gain more followers. We're also going to be educating people on different things that we got going yep. on. Yep. Absolutely. And try a little war. She's got she's she knows that she's got some big a big family following her now. Yep, yep. I'm going to be doing a duet with that the one you did earlier to here too afterwards. So, yep, oh, we're right good. here with you. We're we're beside you when you need it. 
We're behind it to hold you up. We're in front of it to protect it if we need to. Yep. And you're gonna let your let the little warrior know that we're reaching out and giving her a great big hug. Yep. Absolutely. Yeah, we'll have to do another we'll have to do another live maybe this weekend and once we get some more things going and maybe get some more followers to follow us in there and see yeah, we'd love to see some questions, you know, see see some people send us some questions and that uh what they'd like to know or suggestions or anything really just uh that we can interact with. Yeah, because on our TikTok, I think there's a question and answer thing. So if you have any questions about our group or some things you, you'd like to see us do, you know, for videos, let us know. We'll be happy mm -hmm. to see what we can do and answer your questions. Yep. And Steve's got the same thing on his page. You got some questions to ask him, you know. You want to see him do some positive videos that maybe you can sh share with other people, you know. Let him know. Absolutely. <laughs> well... I think we should get off here and I know I got to get right. to bed and get some things going done in the morning, same. but yep, same. it was good doing this video for the first time, you know, getting to interact with yeah. the, the, the followers. Yeah. So we'll, we'll, we'll continue to do it. Yeah. So just like Steve says, like follow and share, you know, we'll be, we'll be right there to help you out and mm -hmm. talk to you and give you any information you want. Yep, we got you. And we got you, little warrior. Yep. So, now I got to figure well, out how to, end, how to end this. <laughs> uh, I think I got it down here. There's a little power symbol, I think, is it? But okay, yeah, thanks, it for doing this. thanks for doing this, Dwayne. Yep, no problem. Uh -huh.